Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm hoping you guys are all having a fantastic day. So in today's video, as you can tell, we'll be kind of going over what the Farmer's Almanac old, Farmer's Almanac and the new Farmer's Almanac, uh, what their winter forecast kind of says. And I always make these videos really not really for a reason. It's I think it's just cool to look at what they have to say. And when I make this video, it gets out to more people. And I, I like to compare it to my thoughts and my forecast and just see what I think will be what I agree with, what I don't really agree with, and I don't, I don't know. If you want to watch this, you know, consider doing so. I'll talk about this upcoming winter, and I think that's very fun, kind of a speculation, educated weather guessing, if you will. So, uh, before we get into this, if you guys are new to this channel, hello and welcome. You can check out the channel, check out the video, see if you like this stuff. If you do, consider subscribing. Obviously, don't do it just because I told you so. Right. Um, same thing with liking the video. If you enjoyed, consider doing that. And if you have any comments, concerns, questions, feel free to always leave them down below in the comments uh, below and I will read, answer, get to them. All right. Let's start talking about this. So first off, let's take a look at this Farmer's Almanac. This is the new, if you will, kind of the new Farmer's Almanac. It's not really the new one. It's it's the new one because this isn't the old one, if you will. So by the fact that it's uh, considered the new one. But the official name is just the Farmer's Almanac. And let's see what they have to say. So Farmer, or the 2021-2022 winter forecast. The official kind of theme is Frosty Flip-Flop Winter. And I actually have to uh, agree with that uh, right off the bat. I don't really know if it'll be frosty uh, for a, uh, you know, and I, won't, I don't know if I'm confident enough about that for to put it as a theme, but if you watch my other videos about this upcoming winter, I do think it will be on a snowier side, but I, what I'm really confident in that pretty much every time there's a La Nina winter, which is the pattern in terms of the oceanic temperatures that's going to be affecting the United States this year, and La Nina usually means that there's going to be some sort of an extreme. Uh, I just look at my city and I look at all the La Nina years, 2011, 2016, 2017, 2017, 2018, there's always something, say for example 2017, 2018, there was a giant winter uh, cold outbreak in December that brought temperatures down to negative 10 on New Year's Day, New Year's night, so it was a very, very cold outbreak that was already an extreme. And the rest of winter was rather snowy. 2016-2017, uh, there was tornadoes in February. So, again, not necessarily snowy, right? And uh, 2011, the g giant Groundhog Day blizzard across the United States. So, there's usually some sort of a an extreme, which I guess could be interpreted as a flip-flop. As, you know, you go from an extreme to another. All right, so... Like the Northwest, uh, they say typical temperatures and precipitation. This is one area what I, where I disagree with. Um, I don't really think that it will be typical. I think it will be rather wet and it will be colder. And I'm pretty confident about that. So they're not showing dry, which I, I would really disagree with if they put that. But, you know... I do think that it will be wetter than what they're forecasting for right here, but we'll just have to wait and see, right? Uh, right here for the southwest, they they say average wintry temper temperatures and precipitation. Regarding temperatures, uh, I, I don't know. I think it will be on a warmer side, maybe just a bit warmer, so I average may be a, a decent uh, term to kind of use. And in terms of precipitation, I, I, I think it will be a bit on a drier side. Hopefully not. Hopefully I'm wrong, and hopefully they're wrong as well. Hopefully they see a lot of precip here. But I think it will be on a bit on a drier side. So I wouldn't say I disagree with this, so, but I wouldn't say I also, uh, you know, to a, the fullest extent, uh, agree with every phrasing of that. But I do think it will be a slightly below average in terms of precip and above average in terms of temperatures. Uh, the plains, I, I would say that's pretty accurate. You know, numbs the word. Uh, maybe not record-breaking cold, just, you know, history-shattering cold, but it will be a colder winter. And I think that, again, will be uh, as well applicable to the Northwest, which is what I disagree with here. But I do agree with this. Um, I don't know in terms of snowfall if it will be snowy, but I, I, based on La Nina and what uh, the history has shown is that usually it's very cold here during La Nina winters and not necessarily always snowy, which is why I'm unconfident kind of on that, but it definitely can be. Pretty confident, or uh, I agree again with what they say here. The South, chill to the bone, near normal precip. It's hard to tell. Uh, the precipitation, I would say I agree with. Uh, there's no sign really for above or below, so that's pretty fair to say. Chill to the bone. If you have a La Nina year like last year, for example, that was beyond accurate, right? If you recall Texas, the South, they absolutely froze over for a good two to three weeks during February of last year. And this year is also a La Nina, so it's the same pattern kind of that brought that, but all La Ninas are different, so I would say there's a good possibility for another outbreak, maybe not to the extent of last year, but 
to be chilly. So I would say that is a pretty fair statement. Definitely a good chance of being uh, coming true. The Midwest here. I do think it will be chillier. I wouldn't say icy flaky because this more indicates something of a cold weather regime rather than snowy. What I would put if I were the uh, kind of the farmer's almanac, if you will, winter maker, winter forecast outlook producer, I would probably in uh, introduce more of a wetter slash snowier theme. I don't think it will be known for its cold across these states. Maybe more for its wetter and snowier winter here. Again, not necessarily cold, but in terms of temperatures, probably average if I were to put that. Um, chili, the southeast, they have quite chili, mixed bag of precip. I mean, I don't know about the quite chili, but I do think there will be a mixed bag of precip. I do think that there will be several times a cold front does make it, it's, you know, it's way down there with very chilly air that could turn that into snow. So, mixed bag of precip, that seems pretty accurate, pretty reasonable, but in terms of the quite chilly, um, uh, again, I'm not too sure. I wouldn't disagree or agree. Typical winter chill, stormy January um, and tranquil February. That type of detail, I have no idea whether or not it will be January, February that is stormy or tranquil. But I do think that it will be, um, yeah, I don't think it will be too, honestly, cold. Typical is pretty fair to describe that. I would maybe even argue a bit warmer than average. Uh, stormy, I think it may be the case for not just January, but February and all of winter. Obviously, there will be periods where it's less stormy, but I do think that especially inland portions of Northeast could see quite a bit of activity in terms of snowfall, obviously, even if it was, you know, overlapped, say, very wet conditions with normal temperatures, you would get more rain as it's normal, but you'd also get a lot more snow, so... Overall, I would say that this is a pretty reasonable forecast, and again, uh, they have been accurate in the past. It's you know, A lot of people like to make fun of this, kind of, um, you know, uh, mimicking it, uh, or sorry, not mimicking it, um, uh, making just making fun of it because it's the farmer's almanac, and, it, and they rely kind of on uh, more older methods of forecasting, but to be honest with you, uh, I would say that these folks have been accurate more often than what no one climate prediction center shows, and I'm not saying that as a uh, because I want to spite uh, the NOAA and the Climate Prediction Center. It's just based on years of years of looking at the forecast, usually NOAA, and uh, yeah, NOAA that makes the forecast. They just go with a warmer scenario, and to be honest, that just, it's, it, you know, they will hit several years that are uh, win uh, warmer, but the years that they miss, uh, they miss big time. So again, I would say they're about equally as accurate. <laughs> and, um, yeah, a lot of people may disagree with that take, but I don't care. So this is the old farmer's almanac. Again, this one actually has a word old in it. The other one doesn't, but it makes it the new one as this one is the old one, if that makes any sense. All right, what they show is mild and dry across the southwest and the north west kind of you could see this line that stretches up here i would say mild and dry is very applicable to the southwest so i agree with that but i wouldn't say it's for the northwest i think that it will be cold so if they were to extend this region into the northwest i would agree but also wet for this area i think i'm pretty confident it'll be wetter and uh cooler now so again you know some some agreements uh, especially towards the south not so much northwest uh, cold and wet for toward the south and cold and dry for Florida. You can see cold snowy for you in portions of Texas. Uh, it's tough to tell. Last year, for example, La Nina, it, you know, it, that's what happened. It was cold and wet across much of the south. It was even snowy again across many locations. I don't know if that's going to happen this year. It's a giant question mark. So to be honest, it's one region that I don't really know about this year. So I don't agree nor disagree ac across what they have to say here. Um, mild, snowy. Mm, I don't know. I, I for, for in my opinion, I, based on what I kind of what my forecast uh, said and showed, I would I would be more confident in this area being colder and drier. So if they could extend, honestly, just r r uh, erase this region and just uh, kind of extend the cold and dry here, I would say that's reasonable. Uh, and again, I do think it's more. Con I have more confidence in this area being cold rather than snowy, potentially snowy. Um, across, uh, you can see again the Midwest, they have cold, comma, dry. Uh, I think that's applicable to the Minnesota, Iowa area, but as we get here, I would say that if they were to extend this wet region a bit more expansively, that would make more sense. As I do think it is, it will be chilly here. There's a good indication that it will be more chilly than warm. But also, as you get towards the Great Lakes, it will be wetter. And I think I have more confidence in it being wetter than uh, cold. So, uh, again, some agreements, some disagreements. The the Mid-South, the Central United States, and into the Mid-Atlantic, uh, they have cold, snowy. It's tough to tell. I wouldn't say that's, again, incorrect or wrong because I can't. It's obviously a forecast. But, 
again, it's a bit tough because they have all these regions saying this way. I probably prefer this forecast a bit less over the news or kind of the the first farmer's almanac I showed you. This one is uh, just a bit more choppy, and again, you know, such lines of of cutoff may you know obviously indicate that they have more confidence in what they're showing, but obviously that's they don't it's just kind of the way they arrange your forecast which is fine but cold and snowy here it's a battle zone yeah you know if it was a year like last year that would be pretty fair to say it will be cold and snowy the northeast they have cold and snowy cold wet uh, what i think they have cold pretty much out of out of uh, every single word and i would say that's you know i don't think it'll be really cold for the south uh, i don't think it'll be warm either there will be a good mix of both. The nor the mid Great Lakes, the Northeast, especially the Northwest, I think, will be chilly. So that cold is applicable. And I do think that actually the coastal areas and inland and Northeast can be snowy. So I do agree with that. But uh, the dry here... I don't know. I think if you know if it's gonna be snowy up here, the, the chances are these same storms will be affecting these areas. So I would say wet here. Overall, I think that this forecast is just a bit too aggressive with that cold, and I, I do think that some of the regions where they have dry will be snowy or wet across the northwest, right? That kind of even the Midwest, and uh, again here I think will be also wet. So again, some agreeance, some disagreeance, but overall, not. I don't like this forecast as much as. The Farmer's Almanac 2021-2022, which uh, usually has a history of being a bit more accurate um, based on previous years, and um, it's just a, a bit easier on the eye to read and look at. So this is what they showed last year, by the way, or two years ago, uh, 2019 to 2020. No, yeah, that, this was last year's. And, uh, you know, we, we all know what happened across last year, so this is something that we could look at in you know hindsight 2020 perspective it was rather chilly across the northwest i wouldn't say it was bitter so honestly chilly normal precip that it was that was pretty accurate it was a bit wetter but um that was just for a brief period so yeah that's pretty accurate cool normal precip it was rather warm and it wasn't really normal precip so they got that a bit wrong Frigid snow. it wasn't frigid but it wasn't snowy either but it wasn't warm or snowless so kind of that was a decent i guess uh, description uh, especially obviously being a forecast here across the south chilled average precip definitely was chilly uh, you know definitely cold but uh, in, it was a bit wetter than normal brisk wet the southeast that's pretty accurate um, it was a rather wet year for the southeast there they weren't in a drought they came out very nicely the northeast it was um you know it was pretty snowy across portions of these areas a city in new york city philadelphia got quite a bit of snow and the the great lakes did see quite a bit of snow not necessarily the cold so Again, you can see last year, 2019-2020, they tried to show you Noah's winter forecast from 2019-2020. Probably had more things that were uh, incorrect. In fact, let me just show you that right now. Okay, so this is what Noah showed for last year. And you could see that they had many things quite a bit wrong. I, I actually have the anomalies pulled up for last year's winter forecast. Uh, this is basically a website that just shows us what happened for last year. Um, or for any given year, you can see this year is 2018 that I have pulled up right now. But let me find last year's. And yeah, this is what we had. December through February 2021, ending February. So it was warmer towards the north here, but really just an overall average winter for many folks. And it was especially chilly across the south. And Noah, unfortunately, the one area that they emphasized being warmer was the south. And that was an area that was much cooler and had quite a bit additional snowfall. So they were pretty dead wrong about that, unfortunately. The northwest, it was a bit chillier, um, though, again, not really notable. So that's kind of incorrect. The northeast being warm, the south being warm. I mean, taking a look at what actually happened, not really. The northeast was a bit warmer, but again, Noah had that region. Uh, also being, so you know, they had that right, but not necessarily any other region. So again, uh, Farmer's Almanac, I would say, did a better job for last year. And this uses uh, science, if you will, and w there's a reputation that the Farmer's Almanac just uses uh, astronomical and a kind of speculation guessing, but uh, they, they, they are more right. So again, that statement holds true. If you could take a guess and be more accurate than Noah about the winter, and yeah, that's that. I just wanted to make this video to kind of show you that, that it's very hard to predict winter. And just because a farmer's almanac says your area will be cold or Noah says it will be warm, um, just erase your biases. It's probably going to be wrong to a certain degree. It may be right, 
but again you won't know that until it passes uh, so that's why I just kind of wanted to make this video and show you my opinions on what the farmer's almanac has to say all right Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you learned something new. If you have any questions about your location this winter, drop it down below. I'll do my best to answer. But again, there's no guarantee. No more guarantee than what no one farmer's element has to say. All right. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll catch you all on the next episode. See ya. Bye.